Hi guys, this is Fanatical for you here back again. Uh, today I wanted to make like a bit different kind of video, more like a vlog. Um, I wanted to share some new new stuff basically. I wanted to unbox some new gadgets and new stuff I kind of shared with you guys and set, set the things up and see how they work. Okay, at least it's in one piece. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna stick this somewhere here on the wall. Because uh, there's nothing on the wall, I think it will look a bit more interesting, like in the background. So now the next thing. Oh, this is a big box, so I might as well start pulling things out from here. So what they came with, it came with this game, Need for Speed Heat, I already have the game, but this is for Xbox. Um, this, uh, this game you can't actually like share between Xbox and PC, but some you can, but not that one. And it came with this game as well, Grid. Yeah, so you're probably wondering what it is, but it's not an Xbox multiple boxes in the big box. So this you will definitely get what that is. Ah, you might even know from the logo. <laughs> Voila! Yep, Logitech G920 steering wheel with shifter. side voila brand new this thing was on sale so I paid 180 pounds it's 230 dollars and it came together with those two games and the shifter obviously the poster that's that's separate but yeah I think the price is pretty cool that's why I bought the thing Never had a force feedback steering wheel before, so I'm quite excited to test it and see how it how it handles. Yeah, that that's one thing I don't have, but maybe maybe someday in future. Actually, I looked into these, so this is the one I I would probably get in future if I'm gonna even like the steering wheel. So, why did I buy actually Logitech 920? It's because I have Xbox X as well. I have PlayStation 2, but I kind of prefer Xbox. So I chose to, to buy the one that, that's com compatible with PC and Xbox. It's actually heavier than I thought it would be. No idea how gonna even mount this I don't have any kind of stand or anything like that okay the pedals ow So yeah, it feels like, yeah, it definitely requires different kind of force. That's the easiest, the gas acceleration is the easiest. And clutch, clutch is pretty hard, but well, 
I presume like similar to what it feels like in a car. And the, the brake pedal, it's not much movement in that one. So you can see how far it moves and that's it. From watching videos, I've seen that there's like a plastic thing in the spring. If you would pull it out, then I think it would go further. So yeah, that's the clutch. Goes pretty far, this one's easy. Acceleration. Yeah, that one is not. Okay. Sort of on the heavy side too, I guess. Okay, I did manage to mount the steering wheel, but it was tough there. Barely, barely. Seems like the table is... The surface is just about a bit too thick. This is so tiny. So far feels uh, looks like it would melt a lot easier. As you can see there's so so much more space for the steering wheel. Yep, a lot easier. Well, easier, not easier than car. Uh, so, okay, guys, I'm gonna end this sort of unboxing right here, and I'm gonna probably edit this video like next to the other video where I'm gonna actually set it all up down here. Yep, like, like down here, I'm gonna set all that up. And we can then test it in some games. Um, the steering wheel actually mounts pretty easy. Once you remove this. <laughs> so there's so much more tolerance. So you can mount it on thicker tables. So you can see it's quite, sits quite strongly here. Yes.